I was talking to a girl. Um, yeah, I was talking to a girl. <laughs> I, I was talking to a girl, and she asked me my name, and uh, um, she had a really pretty name. Okay, that joke didn't work. Okay. Um, let's see. I was talking to a girl. She had a real pretty name. Um, that joke didn't. That was the same joke. Okay, that, of course, it wasn't work. Um, Oh yeah, uh, I was talking to a girl. She had a really pretty name, and uh, she asked me if I want to have sex, and I, I declined her offer, and um, <laughs> and she still told me to go online to look at SportsIllustrated.com to find her in this month's um, webisode of girls at the beaches in Baja, but um, I I don't know. Just like, she's only a ten. I mean, I I go higher for that, you know. <laughs> Come on. Like some people here will go for fours, fives, threes that they have a face, but I, you know, I didn't need to do better than a ten. Okay, um, and then she told me she had a cat, so that was at least I'll I'll call her because of that. She said she had a cat, so I said I was gonna um uh give her a phone call. I promised her that. Uh, she told me that um if I went on damper I wouldn't be able to walk for a whole week. I'd be so sore. And then I said, Well, um, um, I think I'll move on to my material about my dad. Okay, um, so I, I got a dad, and he's really hard on me. Okay, um, I got a mom, and she loves me very much. How many of you have moms that love me very much? Yeah. Okay, okay yeah. So we, we have that in common. I, I got a mom, she loves me. You got a mom, she loves you. Okay, um, it, tur it turns out this girl I wanted to go on a date with, she, uh, she had a mom that loved her very much too, so we had that in common. I was talking about that when I was having coffee with her, and I was really excited about that. It was, it was a really good conversation. Um, she she has a dog too. I was really excited. She, she, said, she said I could take the, she said I could take the dog on a walk. And I was really excited about that. She did offer to have sex with me in the in the um, the men's room at the Nordstroms, where we were at the Starbucks at the mall. And I said, well, let's just go on, a, um, take it slow, let's go on a few walks with you and your dog for the first few weeks, and then see where it goes from there. Okay, um, that one worked a little bit. Um, uh, let's see, so I talked about sex, talked about having a nice mom, okay. Um, let's see, um, I applied for a job this week at Toys R Us, but they told me I was too immature to work there. I was like so pissed, you know. They said like, well, so what? What about babies are us? Can I at least work there if you think I'm immature? And they're like, well, you look a little. You're single. You're not married. Uh, we'd rather have married married people because it is for babies, little toddlers. And I was like, well, if you said I was infantile, why don't you let me work in the infant department? But um, that it turned out that guy, that manager, I, I asked him, did he have a nice mom? Because my mom loves me very much. And he said, no, his mom, he never really knew her. She left and was on drugs his whole life. So I said, that's probably why I didn't, why I didn't get the job. So I told, I told him that, too. I said, <laughs> yeah, it turns out, like, if you apply it to, like, Toys R Us and Babies R Us, you know, it depends on if the manager likes you or has a good mom and dad. And, you know, I asked him if he had any cats or dogs. 